What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Hunting Rocks. And uh, this episode, I'm not actually going to be hunting rocks today. What I'm going to be doing is cleaning up some of my trilobites from my U dig fossil dig. Uh, it's about 94 degrees or something. It's too hot to go out and look for rocks. So I'm gonna sit under the shade of my porch. I clean the petrified wood off of my little table here. I'm gonna set the camera up and uh, I'm going to show you some uh, trilobite cleaning, but first let me show you what tools I use whenever I clean them. Alright you guys, here are the two main tools. I've got my half inch hammer drill, which I just recently bought at uh, Menards, I think it was like $14, really good price. This is a 2800 RPM without load. This really won't have a load on it per se. I mean it will be loaded down so it will go down a little bit, but it's not like I'm drilling into anything. Um, I use brass brushes. I have my uh, Chicago Electric little uh, Dremel tool here. This one goes up to 35,000 RPM. Very rarely do I go that fast. This is mostly for cleaning the, well, let me show you. Cleaning the little bitty gray stuff that's still in there. What's nice is the brass is harder than the shale. However, the brass is softer than the trilobite. That is right here. I'm going to clean this one up and I'll clean a couple others up. So that's why you get the brassy look to the trilobite as they clean. That doesn't hurt the trilobite and if you don't like it, you can rub your finger and across it and it will slowly come off. It's just glazing it. But anyhow, I'm going to get set up. I'm going to try to shoot a video of me cleaning this. Uh, I guarantee you this will have voiceover because well, the tools are going to be loud and annoying. Oh, also, this is a wire brush, uh, steel wire. I don't use it on the trilobite itself because it will scratch it up really bad. However, if there's a lot of shale I need to get through, I'll use it on the shale for a little while and then switch over to my brass so I don't get down to the trilobite. But let's get on this. Let me show you how it's done, or at least how I do it anyhow. All right, everybody, so I'm going to start off with the hammer drill, and I'm going to start off with this trilobite here. Okay, guys, here we go. Kicked on my drill, and as I begin to go across the trilobite, you see how there's little bits of dust and then great big bunch clouds of dust coming off that's as i hit the shale and then across the trilobite right there i'm definitely on shale throwing off a lot of dust um as i said the trilobite is harder than the shale uh the brush is harder than the shale but softer than the trilobite so it will glaze that trilobite as you go across um ppe you know you should really be wearing safety glasses i mentioned that later in the video i'm sure uh, another thing, you might want to wear a dust mask. I doubt you would get silicosis from this, but at the same time, not being sure what's in that shale, put yourself on a little dust mask. If nothing else, you know, just cover your face. You, you gotta, you gotta think of your protection there. Uh, that you really don't want a mouthful of dust because it, it doesn't taste good. I've done it without the dust mask. I also do it outside because it is super dusty. You can put water on it if you want to, but I mean, there's there's no real need to. Instead of throwing dust, you're just throwing mud then. Okay. Blow it off a little bit. As you can see, it's starting to get that brass look to it. There's still a lot of stuff stuck in it, so the shale is still in there. So now I'm going to switch over to my brass Dremel brush, and I'm going to set it at a three, which is, I don't know, it's fast. It's faster than the drill. But we're going to hit that now, and we're going to get all this out. As you can see, there is an imprint there that I haven't really messed with. I don't want to take that out if I can avoid it. And that is just an imprint. It is not a trilobite. If it was a trilobite, whenever I hit it, it would turn the brass color. I don't know if you can really see it, but there's little pieces of trilobite that has popped up and turned brass as I go across. So let me get the Dremel ready and we'll get to that. All right, it's time for the Dremel tool. So as I said, I usually set my Dremel on uh, the number three. It goes up to, I think, eight 
nine, something like that. Uh, that number is for the material. The harder the material, the faster you want to go. The softer the material, the slower you want to go. Now, I do mess around with it a little bit, and I'll move it up to like a four sometimes, depending on where I'm getting into. Um, sometimes you'll hit really soft parts of shale, and you will dig into it deeply. Then, you know, you kind of want to, you kind of got to dig around the trilobite some more and smooth that out. You do have to be careful with the Dremel tool, though. There have been a couple times where I have popped a trilobite completely out of the shale, which is no big deal. You know, I just flip it over. I polish the other side brass, um, polish the top, you know, which I was polishing anyway, and then I turn it into a necklace or something, or just leave it as is. They look really cool. But uh, as you can see, yeah, it's just slow and steady all the way around now i will speed this up so uh you don't have to watch the whole minute and whatever of me working on the trilobite there we have it guys one clean trilobite now he does have that brass sheen on him and like i said you can take that off with a rag or a light acid or if you're like me i like leaving it on it's easier to see the actual trilobite itself. Um, I do highly recommend when you're doing this safety specs. You only got two sets of eyes and you kind of need those for hunting rocks. But I'm going to get to work on some more of these. Uh, when I'm done, I'll throw up on camera what I've uh, got polished up so far today. And here we go, guys. About 30 minutes of work. Cool with this one as I was working, I found a secondary trilobite. This one sadly wasn't a full one. Of course, my big one. Love this one. But this one was really neat. This, what you're actually looking at, let me see if I can get it closer to the camera, is actually the bottom of the trilobite. That's where his little legs would have been. But super simple. Three tools, brass brushes. Dremel, a drill with a brass brush. Do it outside because it is rather dusty. Uh, while I was doing it, I was wearing a dust mask. Oh, here's a here's another one I had worked on. I actually did this yesterday. This one is a plate full of trilobites and little pieces of trilobites. But anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a like, share, and a comment. And uh, let me know in the comment section, you know, definitely, if you want to see more videos like this of me preparing a rock. Anywho, I'll see you next time I'm out hunting rocks. Sorry, guys, almost forgot the Hamilton text. There he is. Ready to go inside, buddy? Yeah, let's go inside.